this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. So I'm just kind of playing around in my craft room and I made some little shaker pictures and these are like what the Polaroid looks like. As you see here, I purchased these already cut out at Joann Fabrics, but it's not hard for you to make your own. These measure three and a half by, let's see, three and a half by three and a half. So it's actually, no, actually three and a half by three and about three and a quarter. Make them any size you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, look how I added acetate on here and, um, added some sequins inside, made it a sweet shaker, added this little rosette butterfly over here, and then I put happy moments. These can be sent as little greetings. And uh, this one right here, I needed to add a little bit more sequins in it, so every one of them will get better and better. But anyway, this one is super cute as well. And um, yeah, I thought I would just show you quickly how I made these. So, so what I'm using is I have these, I have these two colors. It's the only colors I have. I, yeah, I think that they're both super cute. And um, you can, like I said, if you want to make your own, just cut yourself a square and cut out the center and layer it up. Use some really thick cardstock, and voila, you got yourself some frames. But anyway, yeah, let me show you how I how I made these little shakers. So what you're gonna need is take one of the frames and you're gonna take a piece of acetate and I've got this piece right here. It's got a clear film over it. The one I'm using is uh, Cricut brand. You don't have to use it, you can use any brand. Um, but this is just what I had. And when I'm kind of playing around, just wanting to make something different, let me get the plastic off here. I just use what I have. Okay, so there it is, nice and crystal clear. So this one I believe is already cut. Let me just make sure it's gonna fit. And what I did is I take my piece of clear acetate and I lay it up against on here and I just took my pin and I just kind of drew off like where I needed to cut and then I just cut it out and that's it easy as pie okay so I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer it's hard to see the line but I can see it there we go so you're gonna need two of these for each one because you need a front and a back Let's see if I can get this up now one more side here and there we go okay so just kind of measure, just make sure it's going to fit. And as you see, you can kind of see, it makes it look like a window. And these come with little, they have like these pull off little papers on the back. And I didn't realize that until I made one and it started to peel up and I realized, ah, they're sticky. So. You can use this as you, if you want, or if you want, just use some some tape. I'm gonna add on some extra double-sided tape because I'm not really sure how, how sturdy that is. So I just wanna make sure that it's going to hold my piece of my clear acetate. it up close to the edge 
I'm going to use this a little bit larger one. One across the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to peel off the paper. My mat is getting so dirty because I keep painting on it. I need to scrub it. <sighs> I guess that's the sign of having a good time, right, y'all? Okay, so there we go. Got that off. And I'm going to take my clear piece. And I'm just going to lay it over. Try to get it as straight as I can. If it's not straightening, as long as it's covering that square, it's okay. And if you have some hanging over like I do, just take your scissors and trim it. So let me grab my scissors because I want to trim mine. get it off before I add the other piece. Okay, so now I've got my clear. As you see, you can kind of see the glare there, so you know what's on there. So now what you need to do is take your, I've got some foam tape, and I'm going to go around my edges. I'm getting low on my foam tape, so I might have to make a run to Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree and get some more because I'm getting down to the rim here. And just when you don't have any is when you're going to wish you had some. Okay, this is a little bit wider, but it's okay. I'm just making it work. Because this is like quarter inch. And these are close to that quarter inch. Okay, so keep all the way down. And then you need to put yourself some foam tape right here in the center. Now if you want to layer this up and make it thicker, go for it. Yeah, look at that, y'all. Woo! Getting down there. Okay, so make sure it's pressed down really, really well. And because I'm using this color, let me see if I've got any sequins that I can use that might be a little different. So I'm going to go with a few of my flowers. And I do have some more other color flowers here. You all know I love a good flower garden. Okay, got a little twig of something that doesn't belong in there. I get those in there. And I think that I will put hmm, not that color. Hmm. I don't think I'll do that one as well. Out of all these sequins I got up here, I can't make up my mind. Ooh, yes, I use. Let me try some of these beautiful blue ones. Try a little bit of pink. And I think that might look like enough. I'll try a little bit more of my... Might as well make it happy, right? Okay. So I've got a pretty good collection. I might have a little too much. If you want, add a greeting in there and put it in there. And it will float around inside. But on this particular one, I'm not going to worry about that. 
but you can add a greeting. If you're gonna send this to someone, put a little greeting in there, in with your sequins, and it could be like floating around in there. In fact, for the next one, I might do that. I'm gonna peel off my paper. And then I'm gonna take my other piece of acetate Make sure I don't have any sequins sticking on the sticky part. I think that that will work. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna stick this down right on top. Press this down really well. Ha <laughs> ha, I got a flower garden in there. Look at that. Cute. Okay, so I'm gonna shake them around one more and make a move. I'm gonna grab another one from, from my other side and put that on. And I'm just going to peel off this sticky thing here. And I'm peeling it up too much. Let me grab it this way. See how I grabbed it up? I'm just gonna rip that off, it'll be fine. And then I'm just gonna use some of my tape and get put that on there. And let me grab my thinner. This is an eighth of an inch. If I could found the edge, there it is. These are super simple and they're fun. I think they would make be beautiful if you made these and put them on your cards. It's super a little fun. Add a picture if you're sending someone, send it to someone if you want to put a picture of maybe, and maybe it's you and your friends. So if you want to put a picture of the of you in there, then go that and then add, um, go ahead and do that, then add your sequins. Got yourself a cute little picture frame. Okay. I'm having some issues with my tape. Let me make sure I get this right. Okay, I'm gonna go the other end because it won't so it won't pull up. There we go. Making sure. Right on straight. Press it down. And you've got a little shaker photo here. Like I said, add a greeting inside, a photo of maybe whoever you're sending this to. And um, it'd be super cute. I'm gonna add, take off a little bit of the extra clear that I have there. So as you see here, I've got these. So what you can do is just take any kind of embellishment. Let's see what I've got here. Any kind of embellishment will we'll dress it up. I've got some little, I've got some cute little bows here. I kind of think this one will kind of look nice. Maybe you could put it on the top. I'm gonna sit things on, see how I like it. How about I love you? That, I like the I love you. Grab a little heart. And look how sweet that is. Okay, so I'm gonna do one really quick off camera and I'll be back and I'm gonna show you one with a greeting inside. I think it'll be super cute. Okay, so here is the last one that I created. I added a little chipboard piece inside and as you see, I just put a piece of pink paper on the back. But yeah, now it's inside where the shaker is. So you have a greeting in there to shake it around, they'll move. And um, yeah, it says, you make me smile more every day. And I have these little um, 
chipboard pieces. I think that I will add, I think I will add this over here. I have like a little heart. I think it would be super cute. I don't like to overdo on my decorations because y'all know I'm a clean and simple kind of person when it comes to my decorating. So um, I did get these little chipboard pieces off of this right here. And this one is called Whimsical. It's Whimsical Fantastic. Um, and it's thicker. So this is where I got that from. And I'm going to just take, since I peeled the little sticky off the back on this one, I think I'm just going to use a little hot glue on my heart. I think I'll put the heart over here. I think I'll add a few more. I'm sitting here going, okay, it's five o'clock. My husband will be home in an hour. What's for dinner? Y'all, ugh. I hate having to figure out what's for dinner. This girl might be going to get some takeout. It's because I don't know what to eat. I get tired of deciding what's for dinner. Okay. I think I'll put that one like right there, kind of overlap it. The glue is sticking to me. Okay, and I think I got a little extra sequin there. So I think I'll leave it kind of like this. I think that that's super cute. But you can put a picture, like if you want to put a greeting inside or a picture or something. Go ahead and do that. As you see here, I just made them shakers. I added a little greeting on the outside of this one. And here we go. Here's this one. So now I've got four. These are super fun to make and so easy. I am down to only this much foam tape. So I won't be able to make any more until I get some more tape. This is the end of that other roll. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome evening. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. These are super fun little creations that you can use your little frames with. Or if you don't have frames, make your own in different colors. And um, yeah, just make it like a little Polaroid, y'all. That's what these are. Make them like a little Polaroid. And use up your sequins and use up your stuff. Add these into swaps. These are great for swaps. Um, like, I should have thought about this before I sent off my vacation swap. Because taking a picture like this, I could have did this and maybe put a picture in there. Like a Mickey Mouse or whatever. And then just sent it off with Mickey Mouse. And that would be so cute as well. Anyway, the sky is the limit. You can make so much stuff with these sweet little pictures. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.